Oh, come on. Sheng. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. And welcome to our CGTN live stream. Mm -hmm. I'm Serena. You might have noticed that I'm a bit more pretentious than usual. Because? We're in the uh, luxury... Hold on. What? Hold on. Let's just take a look around. This is jewelry heaven, as you would put it. Yes. Yes. I feel like I'm dying the, in the jewelry heaven. So, yeah, I'm not too excited about that. Well, yeah. Well, come on. We're just going to go window shopping. I'm not going to ask you to put any money on it. So don't worry about it. Exactly. Everything's too expensive. Well, yeah, but some of them are still at a reasonably price, I would say. But the first thing we're going to see mm -hmm. is probably not affordable for either of us. Okay, what would that be? That's the one of the highlights here at this jewelry mm -hmm. pavilion is called the golden egg. Wow. Imagine a what golden egg. Do? Imagine a golden egg weighs about over 10 kilograms. So it's an egg. Made yeah, of well, gold. It's, it's not it's more than just an egg. Well, this brand has over 200 years of history. And it all started with this Russian love affairs in the royal family back in the old days. And then they're just like the tra traditions and just like followed it down, passed it down to nowadays. And so lots of people are crazy about it. So they did have something like that in the royal palace. Exactly. I think okay. that's the uh, thing that attracts let's so many get, people here. Let's get the royal palace. There we go. Right this is the golden egg that you were yes, talking about, Yes, that's right? the golden egg. So there seems Take to be a... Take a guess how much would this cost? Well, I'm not much of a guesser when it comes to jewelry. I always underestimate. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> Probably over a one million. Uh, uh, what, I one say. million? <laughs> I, I was going to say a hundred thousand. I don't know, but we have an expert here who can introduce right. this to right. us. Hello there. Hi, I'm Jason with CGTN. Nice to uh, meet you. Hi. So tell us more about this golden egg, please. In terms of what? The, 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 the price or? <laughs> yeah, anything. Just the design. Des what, what inspired that design? Okay, because I, I see there's a, a, a flower pattern in front. Oh, actually, what we call it is a sun ray. Oh. So, okay, it's a kind of, uh, in French, little shade. Uh -huh. And this technique has been practicing by, by Fabergé. Okay, you, you can see this kind of technique in, in, in the products in the past. Mm -hmm. In the past, mm -hmm. okay, it's kind of uh, engraving on a on a ball shaped surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, it's a sun ray going from inside to outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. it brings uh, uh, energy and fortune. Okay. Okay. And I know this is the yesterday you guys just launched this golden egg at this expo. But no, why? I would not put it as a, a launch, okay? Because we are not going to to make it uh, in a massive scale. Okay. It's one of its kind mm -hmm. in the world, okay? So just a, 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 a press conference to, sh to showcase it in the in, in the expo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So. You're saying that you're gonna mass produce. The we are not going to. to mass you're not going to mass produce. No. Who would be the target customer? Would you, you want to say? Actually, it has been sold. It has been sold. Oh, this wow. one has been sold. Who? No, not in China. Okay. Okay. Not in China. Is it is it convenient to review? No, uh, I have no. I are? have no idea. Okay. okay. You have not no not idea. Re Review. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm I'm very interested in things like that. As someone who can't and neither can neither afford it. Or, or yeah, I, I, yeah, you know what I mean. But oh, we just launched. Uh, very exquisite. We just launched a, a GOT eight. Okay, uh, okay, in early April. Uh -huh. uh, just a uh, four days. It was so in, in the states. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two point two uh, million US dollars. Uh, wow. wow. So how many people have asked about it during the expo? How, mm -hmm. how interested are they? Well, uh, no, we will not. Pushing it, okay. We are not selling it. We but people have been attracted to it. Oh, of yeah. yeah. Okay, but we, we, we what? Well, it's a, a kind of a drag and uh, push. Okay, push and pull. Okay, we, we don't push. The people will not will not be interested. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. 
So you you mentioned this will not be in massive production in the future. No, it's one of its kind. It's one of only its one of this kind. kind. Yeah. Okay. A, what I, I would say is a collector's item. Mm. Collector's okay. Item. So what's special about this one in terms of uh, quality or in terms of the um, the idea behind the design or anything? Okay. The inspiration comes from uh, the first uh, Royal Easter Egg in 1885 and the third one in 1887. Okay, and as I, I said, we, uh, we this egg has been crafted and crafted in a Gelouche technique. Okay, and then um, from its beginning, we 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 give we give it as a heirloom. Mm -hmm. Okay, for for the collectors, it means this object can be passed from generations to generations without any depreciation in terms of value. It's not in terms of money, it's in terms of value. So, do, can we have the honor to take a closer look at it? How close is it? Like, can we just actually <laughs> hold it and just feel it? How, uh, how much, what, what I, it feels? I don't. If we, you can really hold it in your hands. At the risk of angering the buyer. Because it's over 10 one, kilograms, one, right? One person tried this morning with uh -huh. only one hand. Okay. Well, she, I've been doing she, exercise. She I've been even working out. I go to the gym every week. Exactly. Can we? <laughs> can we try? Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, where should I? Where can uh, we? Uh, someone help. Okay. We're just gonna we, have someone open the box, and then we're gonna try. How does it feel to do hold you want a? To lift it or do I do yes. That? You can help me. Okay. Well, I've been working out, <laughs> so we'll see. For exactly that. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for exactly, to holding these golden yes. eggs. Well, as we are, you know, introducing these golden eggs, we already can see crowds here attracted to this iconic jewelry. And it's solid, it's not hollow inside. Huh? How about you, da, 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 da. you look, imagine you see it, it's not solid. Mm. <laughs> 10 kilograms. Wow. <laughs> May I? Okay. Okay. Uh, do, uh, do you oh, okay. Put it on? Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Make sure don't break your One wrist. hand. Oh my gosh. Make sure. Don't break your wrist. You're up to the task. It's a test for me. So I'm going to just use Can one hand. Spend Where, the you, wow. you, you, okay, I'll stay on this side. Easier. Reminds me of Mission Impossible. Where should I uh, hold this right here? One, two. <laughs> one, two, three. It's not even moving an inch at Careful all. With that. Oh, Careful. Jesus. I told you. It's really heavy. Okay, it's your Can turn. Okay, okay, it's your okay. turn. Okay. Well, we could have used both okay. of our hands, right? <laughs> Behold, everybody, modern Hercules here. Oh my God. See? See? Whoa! Congrats. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm just so fearful that I'm breaking it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Oh, hold you know it what? Maybe we longer. should try from this angle. I might. I might just. I might just wreck so it. I'm, I'm, I'm those not. two are attached together, right? It's more difficult. You, 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 you just touch this part. Uh -huh. okay. It will be more. It will be more difficult. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm giving up. <laughs> No, I've, I've I've had my chance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've had my how, chance. How I'm, does it feel? I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, so you're done, right? I'm feeling the luxury, but I'm also very anxious about breaking it. So uh, <laughs> it's luxury and anxiety at the same time. Yeah. It's a luxury in weight. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. It's you... Definitely in weight. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. One of Shall the kind. The next yeah. Part? We can okay. just. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Wow. Right wow. The, uh, Already. Of, uh, yes. Okay, well, it is okay, one of the. Uh, it is huh? one of the highlights here of oh, yeah. the jewelry pavilion. You can see crowds come and go, come and go yeah, I mean, for I mean, this we've golden eggs. about it days before this expo. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They're revealing this golden egg. So next store, we're gonna check it out. It's all because. This month's most famous ad campaign, they've sort of created this tagline as Diamond is forever. Oh. And after that ad coming out, you know, back in the 80s, you know, the diamond retail, the consumption is like increasingly 
you know. I would have to say that is the root of all financial burden for men in the 21st century. <laughs> you are just not happy. <laughs> And they and they're and they're very With good at marketing. This. I'll give them that. Yes. And that well, brand that would be. Well, that is money well spent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. There we go. The De Beers. The De Beers. The Beers forever mark here. Yeah. And Ooh, pioneered the frenzy of diamond ring. Yeah. In the 21st century. Are you thinking about pick, choosing picking up a diamond ring for your well, future wife? Me and my fiance <laughs> are very uh, progressive. For me. Okay. So uh, we're, we were not Pragmatic. planning to yeah, <laughs> get a diamond ring. Un uh, un ironically, that uh -huh. is. Yes. All right. All right. Here we are at one of the. What do we I look at? I think that first? this is the most. Uh, this is the most shiny. And most uh, pricey pieces here really? at the De Beers, right? Oh, and by the way, this is Eric, the uh, retail manager for. Uh, Greater China area for, from De Beers. Oh, welcome, welcome. Okay. Tell us more about this uh, piece, please. Okay, okay this one. Uh 这件作品它的灵感来源于水滴 so this piece is basically inspired by the water drops, like in, drop, in a, right? yeah, uh, in, a, in, a, like in a more yeah. natural uh, atmosphere. So how many drops are there on this necklace? Do we know? There是多少? Wow. Two, the the biggest one, the biggest drop here is always over two carats, right? Wow. wow. So, so, I know the uh, diamond is more about the clarity, like 就是就是选宝石的话，可能是更多是看它的清那个清澈度，对不对？咱们这个是属于就比如说是flawless or internal flawless，不是哪个level。代表的使用和印记的钻石都是精选 1% 它的scale是 for uh, consumers or for shoppers, especially female like me, when we were about to like picking all these diamond jewel, uh, diamond pieces in the future, what kind of recommendations you would give to us? <笑>对于女性的消费者来说 是三个非常重要的选择的标准。那这个美丽的含义包含了几个部分哦，一呢是你佩戴的时候会变得非常的美丽，其次呢，对这个美丽。就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就就
。那么再来就是很重要的一个来源可靠。那背靠这个代表是集团永恒印记呢，其实我们所有的钻石都是可以有。非常 responsible 的这个 source 这个来源，那么我们也知道钻石的来源是息息相关于这个，对吧？它是对当地的社会是友善的，它的采集是负责任的，可持续发展的，这些部分是非常重要的。所以在选购钻石的时候，一定要考虑这三个要素。One of the important thing, one of the important thing is that the diamonds are responsibly sourced. I think. Yes, and to for me that's one of the most important point, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And also. To sum it up, what Eric has just told us, so basically three rules when you're picking up a diamond in the future. First, it should it, obviously it should be looking beautiful, especially if it should be looking beautiful on you personally. And then the secrecy, like how how separate, uh, secrecy the uh, diamond real, is. Real, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, And the, the last one is also the very important one is the authenticity of the diamond itself, right? Yeah, responsible source. Yes. That's why you yeah. like to pick a pick a reliable brand. Yeah. That's right. Yes, that's definitely yeah. And have, the DPS. Have we have we asked about the price yet? No, not we yet. Okay, but let's not do that yet. No. Yes. Let's do not. Let's not do that <laughs> let's yet. Let's not do that. Let's we just would like to <laughs> let everybody guess how it's expensive. Or we should uh -huh. put this on me. Uh -huh. I'll try it first. Uh -huh. And don't. And then everybody and could guess. Exactly. Shall we? Okay, 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 okay. Shall we? Okay. Nice. You know you're, what? You're Actually, prepared. you're not wearing any necklace, yes, so you've I, been prepared for exactly, exactly that. Exactly. Okay. You know what? Actually, China is becoming the second largest market in terms of diamond.、Mm -hmm. But one interesting thing is, like, the market is actually fueled by young people,、okay. like us. Okay. So, how much have you in invested in this industry? So、how much far, have you contributed? So far, zero. Zero. Actually, zero.、Um, as but, I said, but who we're knows in the future? Like,、uh, yeah,、right? in the future, I I don't know. But、uh, well, I get I get that they're very beautiful. Yeah, and yeah. diamond is forever. Come、uh, on.、Uh, I mean, are young people more susceptible to、uh, luxury marketing?、Mm -hmm. uh, would you say that people of our A generation of yeah, like a, a, people who born in in between 1980 to 1990s. I think that's the sort of what we call the Generation Z.、Mm -hmm. They were just like powering up the、uh -huh. whole Chinese market here,、mm -hmm. I guess.、Mm -hmm. And then we're we're at the age where we're starting to have uh, a, a dispose more disposable income for us to like buy something for ourselves. Yeah,、right? yeah, I agree. Okay, now, okay, sure. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> This is the moment. <laughs> Now they're trying to unlock the box, and we are gonna try this on. Well, for those of you who are actually staying with us, you can just leave your guess on all of our social media platforms.、Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think. How much this necklace would be?、Hmm. Are there any comments right now? Let me check. Alrighty. Okay. Now, not really. No. Not really. I, I'm actually, I'm actually quite excited. All right. This、wow. is the moment. Very shiny. Wow. You see the diamond side. side. Imagine over. Listening. Over thirty raindrops over there, right? Two, 超过三十多个，上面多。Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, 好，谢谢。Like you're being crowned for、uh, Miss Hainan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments. This will be a little bit more difficult. Okay. So this is more like a choker, right? Oh, it is a choker. I see.、Uh, question: What、uh, is a choker? Choker is like much, much smaller than a necklace. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs>
how, how, how do I look? Does it feel tired? Do I look like oh, a yeah. billionaire uh, right now? Yes, yes, a very <laughs> beautiful billionaire. Yes. Right now. Oh, it's, it's really, oh, although I can't see it myself. Mm -hmm. but do we have a mirror? I'm sure it's going to, oh. Ah, it's over there. It's really Turn nice. Around. Wow. Oh my God. How do you feel that you're wearing the most expensive thing here? I'm kind of nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So now tell us how much does okay. this cost? It's 1.68 million. RMB? RMB, yes. Wow, that's, that's, that's just Take a lot off. of money. Take it off. That's a lot of money. Oh, I'm going to run crazy. away. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. This exceeded my math ability to uh, convert that to US dollar right now. Yeah, and yeah. I know actually De Beers is a fairly well-known brand here in China, right? How is the market recent year, in recent years? Yeah. How's the Chinese market? Yeah, actually, uh, the, the whole market was keep growing. Uh, so we mm -hmm. see that in Hainan, we see that uh, the consumers was liking our brand very much. Mm -hmm. So for C, uh, next five to ten years, mm -hmm. more millennials and more uh, people that uh, uh, for to memory their uh, big moment, mm -hmm. their beautiful life, mm -hmm. their love, yeah, all this, yeah, including together. So definitely, diamond is uh, necessary yes, for big development in China market. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, you know, we know there are a lot of domestic brands rushing into the market. You know, uh, some of them, because we talked to a couple of the uh, domestic brand CEOs, they they were telling us, you know, because they understand China, they understand the Chinese culture and everything, so they have this sort of confidence to overtake the market. Do you agree? Yes, definitely agree. Yeah, DBS as a um, leader of the, 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 the this product, the segment. Actually, we are not promoting our brand, our foreign mark. It's also helping the industry to develop. So the consumer habits, the, the, the marketing, the beauty of the stone, yeah, and also the jewelry uh, needs for mm -hmm. people. And so this is all helping the booming of the consumer needs. Mm -hmm. Does this all convince you to get a diamond piece well, for your future wife? That ultimately depends on my wallet. <laughs> At the end of the day. That is so but, true. <laughs> yeah, but here's a, here's a question. Uh, how does the beers we say we see there's a forever mark here right how is that different from the parent company the beers and how how does it reflect the brand's overall strategy in china why do you need a, a, a sub company to do that well i think the consumer needs was very diverse yeah the people they all have the same rights uh -huh. to uh, show they are i mean uh, the satisfaction of the life the beautiful of their moment yeah they are um willingness uh, willingness of uh, being being good myself so it doesn't matter you pay a uh, three car or you just buy uh, yeah, a mini uh, card uh, one yeah, carrot yes that's yeah. right so actually this um, is different needs so different needs that we have a different offering so that will be something different in DBS Jura and the DBS for a mark so, so for a mark is a product line that is I would say more accessible to a, a bigger pool of customers. Yes, we are saying we are doing the uh, diamond uh, brand juries. Yes, so it, it makes good business sense to have a product line that is that's that, that right. faces yes. a, a bigger pool yeah, of that's customers. Right. We have uh, these high jewelry pieces offering this time. We also have uh, our five big collections here. Yeah, this actually for wedding, for uh, memory or uh, yourself this lighting. Avanti is our new launch collection on 2021 which are self-used for Lele powers. Yes, so icon is the relationship with the stars. Yeah, so this all is to the normal consumers, yes. Anything you guys done specifically for Chinese consumers? Well, we In act terms of a design or, you know, distribution or price or anything? Well, actually, this, uh, we all consider a lot of habits in the Chinese culture. For example, the, the, the light, mm -hmm. the light, the light of brightness is uh, is both existing in Chinese culture and Western cultures. Mm -hmm. So people need the light when you uh, that uh, need the power, need the brightness. So you need this. So this collection is also very welcome by our uh, many young Chinese. ladies. Yes, they Chinese are working obviously, yeah, and they are uh, dressing up themselves. Yeah. I see. Hey, I like this one. Are the you? Snake one. Oh, really? I'm born in the year of the snake, so. Uh, yeah, it used to be very esteemed of yeah. uh, Europe design, Roma design, so a uh, means of wealthy. But when yeah, we uh, so after after about twenty minutes, you finally 
lady well, or eyes on good. one piece of I the jewelry. It, I just think it looks pretty good. It has diamonds on it and it has, what, what is it, sapphire? Yeah, it's actually a uh, Okay. But uh, its design was uh, combined with uh, diamond. Yeah. Okay, wow. With okay. the diamond piece, yes. I like the skull here. I have, a, I have a too much like of a, a male taste uh, in uh, jewelry, right? <laughs> I like the skull, I like the snake. Mm. Okay. Should I take this off? Sure. Otherwise, I'm oh, going to run away. Oh, just remember to take it off before you leave. Thank you. This is very beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm the only one in the world. Sure. Unfortunately, I cannot afford this. Otherwise, I'm going to take it home <laughs> with me. <laughs> All right, thank All right. you. Thank you so yeah. much. You're All welcome. right, we're going to yeah, we're going to approaching on. Right, well, that thing. was a uh, quite a choker. You were looking very fabulous thank there. You. I have to say. Let's mm -hmm. out first. Yeah, careful. Okay. Go ahead. Right. One thing I've noticed about luxury or jewelry mm -hmm. is that they, they have to have a, a very good story yeah. to tell, right? Yeah. Either you have a very good background history story, like the or like, the a, or like a cultural yeah. elements or, or something. Or like the cultural elements, uh, like each product line mm -hmm. has to have a story to tell. Okay, this is inspired well, by the, raindrops. This that's is the marketing strategy, spring. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey! Hi! How are you? Sorry for interruption. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. So, you know what? This is my friend. Uh -huh. She nice to happened to be a jewelry designer, yeah. which also have her own exhibition here at yeah. the Expo. Uh -huh. That is fantastic. So, we've just uh, introduced herself a little bit. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm Yi. I'm a Chinese jewelry designer, and I have a booth here. That's nice. Wow. Yeah. So we just uh, took a quick look around the fabric okay. and the debiers. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yeah. Exclusive, sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Very exclusive. And we, also, we can also see uh, above us are more like a domestic brand, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So do you want to go with us, yeah, take a quick yeah, look? Yeah, let's Since we were just like, uh, well, at least I'm just like a, a female shopper knows mm. nothing about diamond, <laughs> but I'm super crazy about it. Just by looking at the appearances. Uh -huh. But you might give us a more like reasonable advices, right? Okay, what are you guys curious about? Like um you Well we were just talking about uh, how all these luxury jewelry brands always have to have a story to tell. Uh, right. to yeah. get people intrigued in in something much more than the piece of jewelry itself. Mm -hmm. So do you think domestic brands are uh, if, trying to catch up in having like a exclusive story to tell to get people to have I a sense of so. exclusivity? I think so. In fact, we just passed by a, a brand, a domestic brand. They mm -hmm. have a uh, new exclusive jewelry, like wedding jewelry, mm -hmm. and the topic is love compass, uh -huh. which compass. means you get follow the compass, you find you the other half. Oh, yeah. I see. You find this one, this of one I really like. I this just one? bought something from them. Oh, okay, what's Anya. what's special about this uh, enameling? It's colorful. Yeah, it's a uh, German. You have one on your hand, I right? I bought it. Oh, that's nice. Even I'm a jeweler designer, I still spend money on something. <laughs> <laughs> so you are not a reasonable shopper <laughs> either. <laughs> this is a very classic jewelry mm -hmm. technique from ancient time. Okay. Hi. Hi there. Hi. How are they you? They are actually supplier for Papa J. Oh, and that's it's, right. Don't worry, you can talk about it. Oh, you know. okay. <laughs> so basically, yeah, like they, we worked with Fabergé for a very long time before. Uh -huh. We helped them to make uh, enamel for the famous uh, Easter eggs. Golden yeah. eggs. Yes. Yes. Like, well, okay. not the golden, like uh, for the enamel eggs. Uh, I yeah, see. Like, for example, like here we have like our own enamel egg. Uh -huh. There you can see. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. A baby one. Like, yeah, it's ah, a baby one. It's I a see. jewel box. Like you can put a ring there. I see. So basically, like the technique that we used for the fiber here, we we also keep doing for ourselves. It's just in different materials. Different, t different colors, different patterns, and uh, but yeah. Okay. Is this your first time here in China? In so yes, it's in our first time in expo? this exhibition. But okay. we already have our uh, how to say like we stationed in Shanghai. Oh, okay. Wow. So if someone wants to I find us in Shanghai, cool. please welcome anytime. Cool. Sure. Someday. Are you looking forward to this Chinese market? We are. We are looking forward a lot because actually Chinese customers, they are very smart about the craftsmanship. Yeah. Yes. So they actually understand when it's the very 
time consuming and very, how to I say. Like the links. So this time, yeah. have you brought anything with like customized specifically for Chinese consumers? Well, to be honest, like all of these pieces are we brought specifically specifically for Chinese customers, and <laughs> all of those colors are very pricey, <laughs> uh, very bright, and uh, Chinese very customers Asian. Lo love them. Yeah, yeah. That's true. All right, cool. Selection. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your time here in China. <laughs> we were just right. talking about couplings over there. Oh, yeah. 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 Speaking of that, yeah, that's I'm just that's promoting, promoting. Okay. <laughs> men's market. Yeah. I was saying that I really like the, the the one with the links over there. See, I'm a cat person, so. Uh, so basically, oh. on the base of the mother pearl, it's all handmade picture of the animals like made also from the enamel and then on the top there is a rock crystal so go to make it a 3d effect zodiac, is it no? no i don't think so i don't think so well compared with diamond jewelry this is more you know interesting technique more design related you know, yeah it's a much waste you it's know mother nice. is coming so oh yeah it's tomorrow tomorrow right yeah thank you so, so you've also mentioned that you know a marriage market is a huge boost for the diamond sale in China, mm -hmm. right? So I, I read I read somewhere that the marriage market basically helped eighty percent of the sale of the jewelry sales in China. Is that true? Yeah, you can say so. Yeah, and there is a trend mm -hmm. that uh, more people like to buy it from a big franchise like Chopin Co. You just stop by a few years. Yeah, and the trend is younger generation would prefer to customize their own bespoke wedding ring. Right, right. Or they come to like a designer like like us or to a private studio. Uh huh. But the thing is, you need to find someone like a professional. Yes. Yes. Be professional. Of course, all the diamonds need to be certificate. You got, yeah. you got the lab from GIA, you got a test from IGI. Mm -hmm. And domestically, we have NGTC. So just make sure you get it from the right person, you'll be fine. That's <laughs> all like the different qualifications yeah. for those jewelries, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. I think for young people, like when it comes to marriage or commitments in general, right? Mm -hmm. Buying a piece of jewelry is not only about prizes these days is how much heart you put into it like whether right. you're, you're you're having design or design something special yeah, whether it's yeah. authenticated like you, just how much effort you're putting into making that gift yeah right? it's not it's, only about price right this is the highlight moment okay this mm -hmm. is the, the sparkling time you're there you know so of course as a designer we need to communicate well mm -hmm. we need to understand what kind of jewelry you want to achieve and make sure we celebrate it well. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been, uh, you know, sort of establishing your own brand, mm -hmm. coming, you know, as you, you know, raised up in China and mm -hmm. coming as a domestic brand here. But we know that most of the jewelry market in China are do dominated by foreign brands, mm -hmm. right? Do you do you have confidence that domestic brands will eventually overtake the foreign brands in China? I don't think it's gonna be took over. I think it's gonna be a merge. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, because all those European jewelry brands they have the long history background. Mm -hmm. It's not competitive. We're not competitive for that. Mm -hmm. But designer like me and other franchise like Chodai Folk and stuff like that. We are trying to, you know, be create something with own Chinese aesthetic mm -hmm. or design aesthetic. language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because well are we passing there. by somewhere? No, I'm just I'm just uh, trying to find the pieces to show you. Okay. What kind of Chinese aesthetic I'm talking about. Oh sure. Because sure. Chinese are very like they are uh, partial language. Partial language. Okay. Which means when you saw. Oh, when you say something, you wanna yeah, the name the love with something behind. that brings good omen, you know? right? yeah, yeah. In the name of the uh, of the jury. So yeah. ultimately, it's finding your own like Chinese uh, story of yeah. jury, Some, right? Something like yeah. Yeah. ultimately Jisang having your Louis, something yeah. like that. The big biggest trend in twenty four. 24 karat gold jewelry. Oh, right I see. So I think that's kind of unique with whatever we 
from learn from Europe mm -hmm. is going to be one of the biggest trends. Mm -hmm. So do I mean, for example, we were seeing over there like there's uh, some jade jewelry. Mm -hmm. Does is jade like more often used for a Chinese designer because it's such a, a Chinese, Chinese thing to have thing, yeah. on a ring or a necklace? I think there's a jade designer that I okay. know sure. very fine. Yeah, because I'm seeing a lot of jade here, especially when we come to the uh, uh, the Chinese jewelry section, right? Yeah, a lot more jade on here. This a lot more green. This is a very typical Chinese thing. Yeah, yeah. because when if you if you walk around, I think yeah. probably oh, there. over there. Over there? That okay. One. Okay. We we'll check out that brand. Check out that brand is actually the Evergreen. Okay. Yeah, Evergreen. Oh, he's eating. Ha ha. It's okay. They're having lunch. <laughs> this are the very typical Chinese. Mm. Jewelry Des material. Mm -hmm. And but also the design. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The money. The animal collection. Yeah. Yeah. To, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Got the, the moon bunny. Yeah, the moon bunny, which okay. also have some meaning behind, you know, when we use the Chinese element. Mm -hmm. And also here the lips. These are all dragonfly also. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would it be hard in terms of putting all this jade uh, together with diamond? Because we, we know diamond is so you know precious. Yeah, it could be yeah. easily scratched. Yeah, and jade is very careful. careful. Yeah, <laughs> but jade exactly. <laughs> so that's why I'm asking: Is it hard to put them together? Yeah, it can, it's kind of fragile. Right? Yeah, yeah. Fragile. yeah. When we talk about jade, we often thinking this elder generation thing, like mm -hmm. a bangle or a pendant. But in mm -hmm. fact. Chinese young generation designer are trying to achieve something more modern, more, than, more um, how to say it, culture, trendy fusion kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and we see that we mix a lot of, uh, for example, Chinese mythology in it. For example, we have we have that Buddha over there. Yes, right? so That's cute. Only, only seen in a, a Chinese jewelry. Yeah. And I see there's a chameleon. Is that yeah, a chameleon over a chameleon. here? Right? I mean, in Chinese culture, reptiles are seen as very uh, mythical animals that protect the family, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. So, so that, that's why they're making it with a chameleon over there. So, so these are some of the, what, what we talked about, Chinese stories to tell in a jewelry. Yeah, yeah. that one is yeah. um, also a Chinese element, the mm -hmm. lian. Oh, the lotus. The lotus. The lotus. The yes. lotus. It al it's also a good omen. Yeah, yeah. kind of classic. Mm -hmm also signifies that Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The, the, the culture blending, uh -huh. you know, with diamonds. So diamonds and caragol are actually came from Europe. No. The, I mean, the material and the technique. Right. But right now, with the time development, we're just trying to put it together mm -hmm. and trying to have its own Chinese language. Mm -hmm. Here, this section is all Chinese designer section. Oh, yeah. Cool. So How many are they? Do we know? I Coming think we to have this like expo? 30, 40, no, 30, about 30, 30 designer. Okay. And here also we have the very classic Chinese element, the uh, 12 animal. Oh, the Chinese zodiac, zodiac thing? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. Isn't that kind of cute? Oh, that's for you. <laughs> that's cute. Wow. So when uh, Chinese designer brands like make a jewelry, like, mm. do they have to pass through any authentic authentication, like like a certificate, or is it? Do, do they have the, a Chinese certificate, or is there an international standard? Right now, it really depends. Like this one, our master Jen is a typical Chinese designer. designer. Yeah, he got the certificate from here, so he's qualified here, but. Like me, I learned my design from England, so I was born in England. Okay. So it really depends on the person, uh, personal okay. background. Okay. It's, it's but not, you guys on the country you operate. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not a typical standard. Okay. But yeah. you guys are all eligible to design diamond, yeah. and your product's probably gonna go overseas in the future. I hope so. <laughs> are you trying? Are you working on that? Yeah, I'm working on it really hard. Okay. <laughs> That but my over oh, there. there we go. Yeah. That's your yeah. lovely booth over there. Colorful. Oh. oh, I see. Most of the products that I made are um, enameling jewelry. For example, here we have this is nice. We have kind of Western aesthetic style. I like the more simplistic design. 
more yeah. daily wear. Yeah. How long will it take for you to design, let's say, one piece of necklace? It really depends on depends on the inspiration. You know, sometimes okay. you need that. You yeah. need that bling. Yes. yes. But sometimes it took like three months for me to struggle. Mm -hmm. But how long will it take to produce? Uh, for this kind of product, it probably took one month. One month? Yeah. Because so, you need to build the basic mold, the wax mold. I see. Yeah, and you need to pass it out. I'm also curious, what inspired this particular design? The it's idea. Just a spark. Just a spark. Just Sometimes spark. it doesn't have to be a specific inspiration. Wow. But those are... Those, those do not look like... A, Chinese design, does it? You look, the, it look like European to me. The, these are my design. Oh, you did! Yeah, wow, I nice. Did it. Wow. It's a. Is this a pin? Yeah, it's a pin. Okay. The dragonfly. Yeah, the dragonfly. It's actually one of our most successful product. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Take a closer look. Dragonfly. It's so, yeah, it's Talk flexible. Right wow. The wings like flying. It's a very typical Euro enamel technique called Picardou. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you want to hold it? Oh, wow. It's a pin. It's you a can pin. put it. Oh, it's a pin. Oh, yeah. Wow. Don't yeah. worry. You know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm fearful of breaking it. <laughs> Don't worry. It's <laughs> very nice. Do you want to hold it? Or? It's very nice. Okay. So usually they'll go somewhere here in the shirt, on the yeah, shirt. Yeah, it better go with a winter sweater. Yeah, yeah sweater. Something, something like that. Happier. Oh, it's very nice. Well, there you go, your gift for your mom. Mother's Day. Mother's Day oh, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Jason was nice. like, oh, hold on, let me check my Ali nice. account. Ali pay account. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's check my how much, uh, how much money do I left? <laughs> It feels very good on a on a nightgown. Yeah, like it's that. very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, and also here we have the all those antique enamel uh, jewelry or objects that because as a designer we're not only doing our design, mm -hmm. also the we need to have an open mind, learn from the, the history, mm -hmm. you know, learn from ancient time cultures and yeah. everything. Those are not going to uh, put in massive production, are, no, are they? No, it's impossible because back then the technique and all the material are totally different than right now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that okay. one is the uh, uh, Faber J X. It's a mini one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have all the Faber old egg enamel. Uh, that yeah. one is also antique. That's uh, oh. made in German, I think. Okay. 19th century. Very nice. Let me show you something. Okay. These yeah. look a lot more traditional in China. Yep. Especially these <laughs> chains. Yeah. Yeah. So we're also trying to do traditional cloth on May. Mm -hmm. I don't even guys know it. Test Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I heard. So you learned about it. In yeah, by giving it like a... Uh, Antique looking. Uh -huh. wow. So it's purely handmade. It took like a week for us to only color it. Wow, it's very elegant. Yeah. So is this like a jewelry holder? You can put your yeah, like, like a container, little container thing. Yeah, it looks like something you find at a royal palace in, uh, in Beijing. It's, yeah, it's very Chinese, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, that's another change in the market. Before, young mm -hmm. generation are looking for overseas products, you know, overseas mm -hmm. more Western jewelry, style. Western style. Mm -hmm. but, but the young generation now, they start to looking for Chinese design or Chinese aesthetic, which yeah. I think is a great opportunity for us to try something interesting like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we see these are Ruiz, right? Yeah. The Rui lot. Very, mm -hmm. Yeah, very classic Chinese element also. Mm -hmm. With um, mm -hmm. like a traditional pattern. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Love birds? Love birds, yeah. Love birds. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like a hen. Mm -hmm. What does Rui mean in English, would you say? Rui. Your, uh, your, your heart's desire fulfilled? <laughs> 
fulfillment. It's something like that. Fulfillment like or yeah, something. Fulfillment. Yeah, it's, something like that. Yeah, yeah, the name name of Rui means fulfillment, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also a very interesting design. Have you guys? It's turtle shell. You, you, you That's you turtle got shell. It. Because yeah. I, I, I used to own turtles before. So. Oh, you ah. did? Yeah. <laughs> the meaning behind is Jin Hui Shu. Oh, ah, wow. That's so, another. Tricky oh, that's, that's thing to translate uh, into yeah. English, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, Challenge now. <laughs> a, a good the son-in-law, like I am. The, <laughs> <laughs> the lucky guy who yes. has been chosen. Yes. By your billionaire father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Does that says it all? First, no, he isn't. And <laughs> secondly, yes, I'm a very good son-in-law. <laughs> The, the the history behind is long time ago in ancient China, uh -huh. people use um, like turtle shell shape as a like door key, like an access you mm. can get into the the, the forbidden city or uh -huh. stuff like that. So when you're holding that kind of key, mm -hmm. you are a top class uh -huh. person. That kind of idea. Uh -huh. So this is where the story came from. So all this comes with the Chinese, either traditional yeah, culture like or traditional man. stories. Like for example, uh, what, what are these? I, it's like a the, axe, the axe, right? Yeah, the ah. Asian axe. Mm. This is more like man style design. Mm. Mm. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Very nice. Yeah. With a filigree, has a filigree technique, mm -hmm. which is another interesting thing to see. Because mm. a lot of people are using traditional technique, I mean Chinese traditional technique, like filigree, like flawasone, a bunch of them, like also the feather, mm -hmm. it's fake. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that before? Mm -hmm. So it's a big change here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Alrighty. I really do like the aesthetic here because a, a lot of these uh, juries have uh, stories that are much closer to heart. For yes. uh, for a Chinese audience, for Chinese customers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would, I would definitely, I definitely get why, uh, why a lot more young people are looking for are good designs that are that have a Chinese background story. Exactly. To tell. Exactly. Yeah, that's and, why and it's different from the cliche that is uh, Western jewelry. Yeah, right that's why I I feel like most of us do have confidence that eventually domestic market will, yeah. especially the domestic brand will emerge or right. even overtake mm -hmm. the foreign brands in Chinese market. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, so right. for those who are interested, please check out what is J J R Y. J R Y. Mm. Yeah. Please Very check nice. out J R Y or something. Yeah. J R Y I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this group. Yeah. It's really nice, right? I'm so lucky I met you at this expo. <laughs> We've ac I've actually learned a oh, lot just from met? you. Yes. Oh, I thought you were well, a long friend. Well, a friend, friend. Okay. A friend's friend. Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? Yesterday I was trying to find her booth because uh -huh. it's all the way behind. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm like almost gave up. <laughs> and then just right around the corner, oh, there we are, JRY mm -hmm. Jewelry. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, thank God I met you yesterday. <laughs> I've learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so thank you. much. You learned a lot. Okay. okay, alrighty. If you have any questions. Yeah, if you, if you, if you want to. Uh, uh, get to know both Western jewelry and Chinese jewelry. This is the place to be. Yeah. Yeah. But only from okay, till what, the tenth. What are I the call. morals of today? Like, what would you say are the morals of today? Mm -hmm. First, there are things we cannot afford. Mm -hmm. Second, juries are more of, more about shiny stuff, but also commitment. Yeah. I mean, that's what I got. What okay. I got today, okay. right? Third, I'm still thinking of a third that makes it three. I so. think uh, in the future, at least for myself, mm -hmm. I would not like crazily go for jewelry just for its shining appearance. Mm -hmm. But more is about the story behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So on now we're increasing uh, our appetite for jewelry, but we're becoming more rational shoppers for it. Exactly. Would you say? Exactly. Okay. That's yeah. a, that's three morals of the day. Yep. Do you want to wrap up? Yes, the, why not? The live stream? Okay. Do you have anything for tomorrow? Well, I have, give a little well I have stories, one story on Xinjiang cotton here at the at the domestic booth. Okay, that's And I have a story on China's number one salesperson. If you, if you want to know who he or she is, do follow us on CGTN. Thank you. Thank you again for staying with us. We'll see you next time. See ya.